2022 and I am coming at you with a thrift haul that I'm going to resell on Poshmark and eBay. My name is Ashley and I'm a reseller based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I wasn't actually planning to go thrifting this week, said every reseller ever, but Value Village sent me a coupon and to be honest, I was feeling a bit blue and I was like, hey, what the heck? put a mask on, head to the thrift store and see what I can find. I'm gonna be sharing the haul, which includes some favorite brands, some brands that I was really excited about and some newbie brands. So let's jump in. First up, how cute is this sweatshirt? So Disney has these characters called Tsum Tsums. T-S-U-M. T-S-U-M. The name comes from a Japanese verb, which actually means to stack. And so the Tsum Tsum characters are these little tiny Disney collectibles of all your favorite characters. And White Chocolate did this collab with Disney Tsum Tsums and it's got all the characters all over it. It definitely caught my eye when I saw it on the rack and I decided to pick it up. It looked like there weren't a ton of comps for this collaboration, but it seemed like they were between 32 to 40. And I feel like there's a Disney lover out there who's just gonna love this sweatshirt and this is in an extra small. Who's your favorite Disney character? Let me know down in the comments. Important conversation to start off 2022. This dress is probably one of the pieces I was most excited about when I found it. To be honest I was out thrifting and I wasn't really finding too much that I was excited about and I decided to head to the dress section even though I told myself that I wasn't gonna go to the dress section because I had a lot of dresses but when things were kind of drying up I was like what the heck I'll try it out and found this. This is from the brand Mage, M-A-J-E, and it's a size two in Mage. I'll have to look that up again, but I think it's probably around like a size six. I can't remember. I will check. Mage is a higher end brand. I've sold a couple of their pieces, but never their dresses, I don't think. And this is a gorgeous lace dress. It's got a little just like white slip dress camisole underneath that actually is attached which is great because often when you find these kinds of dresses at the thrift store if it has a dress underneath it it can be lost or maybe it didn't get donated anyway this one's attached at the waist it's got a button front and then a full skirt and it is just gorgeous i love the long sleeves and this style is so pretty i looked up the name but i didn't write it down now i need to go find it one of my favorite tips on poshmark is if you're looking at comps when you're at the thrift store and then you come home and you want to find the listings that you were looking at if you go into my recent views often they'll be in there super helpful this is called the mage rayella dress and i really really love this piece mage dress comps were kind of all over the place between 65 to 125 and I did see one of these dresses listed but in a different size so anyway I thought this was gorgeous perfect for like a special occasion this would be a gorgeous engagement party dress if someone was doing that and they were able to have a party maybe just photos I don't know it's a weird time this dress is beautiful and I hope someone will get to enjoy it this spring cloth and stone is a brand that sold the anthropology I've heard of it before and I nearly have picked it up before but it was never in good condition but I found this plaid top with this lacing at the front it is long sleeve it's very soft it does have some wear to it but I think it still has lots of love to give cloth and stone often uses really nice materials this one is hundred percent rayon it's in a size medium I really like this plaid and the detailing at the front it looks like comps for cloth and stone range between 25 to 40 so we'll see how this one does I thought it was a cute top to pair with jeans speaking of jeans I do love selling jeans and it's funny because I found for a long time I never came across Levi's and then a couple months ago I had some good luck finding my first pair of Levi's wedgie jeans and since then I keep coming across them. This is the Levi's mile high super skinny style in a size 25. They're exactly what you think they are. They're a high-waisted style, skinny leg, in a classic blue denim with some intentional fading and distressing and it looked like comps were between 30 to 50 for these so I picked them up and hopefully these will do great. I also picked up this top that I'm wearing. It's a TNA cropped thermal in this really nice color and I just thought it was a really cozy comfortable style. I wasn't sure if it was gonna sell it or keep it and I checked comps. They were kind of okay like 20 to 25 but I guess I'll keep it for now at least and enjoy it. This is a Free People wrap top in a size extra small. 
though I think it could fit a small as well. It's got a deep V tie at the waist and these really cute bell sleeves. I just thought it was a really great basic top and it is super, super soft. I like free people. It tends to do well for me and it looks like comps were between 25 to 35 for free people tops. I told myself when I went thrifting that I wasn't going to buy a bunch of black items because they can be a little bit trickier to photograph and I sort my closet by color and I have so many items that are black hanging out at the top and I'm like, do people just not like these? I don't know. And then I ended up with that top, but I think it's really cute and so soft and comfortable. When I found this sweatshirt, I was really excited because it's been one of those things that I've wanted to find because I know that they're fairly popular and there it was. It is a vintage, oh gosh, vintage from my youth, Club Monaco sweatshirt with the Club Monaco logo. It is in a size small, it's classic like 90s, 2000s wear. It's in this olive green color. This one does have a bit of wear on it. There is some ripping here at the collar and a little bit at the cuffs and kind of around the cuffs, but I decided to rescue it from the thrift store and I feel like someone will love it and it just, gives into that worked in, well-loved vintage flair of these sweatshirts. Comps for these sweatshirts range between 50 to like 125, $150. I don't think this one will do that well, especially because of the condition that it's in, but I do love this olive green color and I'm sure someone will love this well-loved Club Monaco sweatshirt. I know it's only the beginning of January, but I'm definitely thinking ahead to spring, I'm just hoping for spring. The days are getting a bit lighter Lighter, which is really nice. We've got a long way to go, but thinking about spring already. How cute is this dress? It's from Madewell and it's called the Pint Up Cami Dress in Fresh Strawberries print. Cute little strawberries all over it. This is in a size 14, cute little ruffle at the top, spaghetti straps that are adjustable, and it is a really cute style. Oh, for a second I thought it had pockets, but I think that is just the lining. Yeah, no pockets, but that's okay. It is a spring summer dress, super cute, little zipper at the back, and I really love this style. It retailed for $188, and it looks like comps on Madewell dresses were between 30 and 60, so we'll see how that does. Such a cute dress. Because I had a coupon, I was really hoping to pick up some higher priced items like boots, coats, and those categories that tend to do well for me and cost a little bit more when I go thrifting, but I didn't find a ton. That being said, I did find this star denim jean jacket from the brand Pistola. Pistola? I don't know, never found it before. I found out that it is a Revolve brand and this style is called the Brando Star Embroidery Denim Jacket. It's a cute denim jacket with embroidered stars, just like the name says. It has a raw hem at the bottom, long sleeves, and just your basic classic denim jacket in a lighter wash with this fun star embroidery. This is in a size small and I was really happy with this find. Would have loved to have found more jackets, but this one will do. It retailed for 128 USD and I found a couple of comps for the same style in black for 66 to $85. So we'll see how this lighter denim wash does. When you're in the thrift store and you see a new rack come out, do you head right towards it? Do you casually stroll towards it? Do you wait until the items have been put out? Do you follow the employees around? What is your strategy when new racks come out? Depending on the day, I can fall into any one of those categories and I do try and be respectful, especially right now with social distancing and everything, but I can't help it when I see a new rack. I'm like, what is in it? I need to know, hopefully something good. I saw this top, it's funky. I really liked the colors. It's from the anthropology brand Moth. It's in a size medium. It was on a new rack and I decided to pick it up. Kind of got like a fun vintage vibe. It definitely screams anthropology to me. And comps were kind of all over the place. $25, $30, we shall see. I liked it. I thought it was fun. They're really cute to pair with jeans, leggings. As I've shared before, I do love me some Kate Spade. And I was excited when I found this cream sweater. Just looks like a basic sweater with a scoop neck in the front. And it's got this really cute bow detail in the back three quarter length sleeve and it is in a size extra small. I can't say no to Kate Spade, even though I feel like with tops, they never do as well as I want them to, but I picked it up anyway. 
when I checked comps to do research for this video and getting ready to list, it looked like they were between 30 and 55, but I just thought this was a really cute, basic sweater, but with that bow detail, so lovely. Next up is this Arezzo Wilfred sweater in a size small. It is called the Atwood sweater and it's in this pistachio color. I thought this was gorgeous. I really loved these kind of balloon sleeves with a cuff on the end and the color was just really, really gorgeous. When I looked up comps, I was really happy too because there was a ton of sold comps of this sweater in this color and it looked like they were between $40 and $80 and there didn't seem to be a ton of the sweater available. So that made me feel confident that it is a style that is in demand and hopefully it'll do well for me. I would like to believe that this item is something that I manifested because in my most recent video, I was talking about my top sales of 2021 and two of them were from Patagonia. And I said, wouldn't it be great to find more Patagonia? Da, da, da. Hello, Patagonia sweater. It's so nice to see you. I was so excited when I found this. I don't normally find Patagonia fleeces. In fact, I've never. The three pieces of Patagonia that I found Two of them came from a box that I purchased from another reseller, and the other coat was a coat that belonged to a friend who asked me to consign it for her. So this is my first time finding Patagonia on my own. This is the Snap Tea Cinchilla Fleece. This is in a size small. It's got these snaps at the collar. Oh, that sound was so satisfying. Long sleeve, light blue cuffs, light blue hem. When I was doing research on Patagonia fleeces, I was blown away by the comps and the likes on them. Comps ranged between $60 to $175, and some of the fleeces I was looking at had over 100 likes. Like, that is wild to me. I am very excited to get this listed. I am very excited that I found it. Oh, I'm very excited to snap these snaps again. Yeah. <laughs> Thrilled to find this Patagonia fleece and hoping that there will be more Patagonia in my future. Have you gone thrifting yet in 2022? Let me know what your favorite finds have been and how thrifting has been for you so far. I feel like in 2020, when I really started thrifting to resell on Poshmark and eBay, that first year in January, I went to the thrift store and I was new and bright eyed and bushy tailed and super stoked about Poshmark. But I remember finding like so many incredible pieces like Michael Kors and Kate Spade and all kinds of very current Aritzia. I don't know, people were doing lots of decluttering that year. I guess all we've had to do over the last two years is declutter, so here we are. I'm really excited with the items that I found and super curious to see how they're gonna do on Poshmark. If you're looking for another video to watch, I have a whole playlist of thrift hauls, so you can check that out. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, and if you're not already subscribed, now would be an awesome time to do so. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you soon. Bye, friends.